What up guys, Mass Ninja here coming at you live and loud. So start off this video. You know, we're going into the 30th anniversary of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Well let's just say this. Some some viewers re reviewers are probably pulling out the original Dino Megs or reviewing it and all this other fun stuff. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the original Dino Megazord from 93. And I have talked heavily about the 2010 Dino Megazord, as well as the... My so-called, one I call the Kids... The McDonald's Happy Meal Megazord, as well as the Zap Dino Megazord. So, instead of doing Dino Megazord, Dino Megazord, for the 30th anniversary of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, a buddy of mine down, you guys know him, Insomniac, actually sent me a little something for the channel. It's not one, it's not two, but three. Complete in box, never been open. Wild Force Zords. The Predazord. Animus and ooh, ooh. the Kong Zord. Monkey. So with that said, this is gonna be a three part video to review each one of these as well as to celebrate the 30th anniversary, we're going to open and unbox three Zords that have never been opened before. So with that said, The Masked Ninja, welcome to the show, theme song. Alrighty guys, haha, <laughs> oh I am so sad, I'm probably going to piss off a lot of people by just opening these, but you know what, these are mine, and I can do what I want with them, so, <laughs> so with that said, but yet, these things have never been opened, never been touched by human hands since they've been sealed, I came propelled. Yes, I am putting gloves on. Let's do this. Wildzord Pedazord. Force down the map. Force down the pipeline. Woo! So, the box itself is the classic style box. Back, sides. Product sides underneath. Oh wow, a beautiful box. Go ahead, break the seal. Oh, I feel a little dirty just doing that, guys. Oh. Oh, holy moly. This thing has never been out of its box at all. Normally I would break this down as a speed one and just a speed unboxing, but you know what? This thing is, I feel like I need to talk about the filling. Nothing else in the box. We have the instruction manual. Get these tape unstick. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is what they looked like when they first released in twenty in twenty oh two, guys. 
Oh my god, just to see in this is beautiful. I feel bad about opening these because they have never been opened. The Hammerhead Shock Sword. Simply beautiful. These things are more or less a walk of art, guys. Die cast metal. Oh my goodness gracious. The hammerhead shock yo. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. The wolf. Actually, be opening up these things after 20 some years and being the first person to open these. This is something special, guys. Big boy himself. The crocodile's old. Oh my god. Predazords. Start off with the wolf zord itself. The beautiful zord. Diecast metal. Heavy. They don't make zords like this anymore, guys. A heavy diecast metal. Beautiful bend in the elbow. Gut for these zords completely painted. I mean, when you think deluxe, this is a deluxe piece, guys. Beautiful. The sock, the hammerhead sh sock sword, mouth opens up. Nice little bend on the elbow heel. Die cast metal. It's all around a beautiful piece, guys. Little kickstand to keep the Zord from laying down. Give it wheels. Beautiful. Now the big boy himself. This guy alone is a beautiful piece, guys. Quite long. And honestly, what? A beautiful, beautiful Zord in this general. Paint job on this guy is beautiful. All around. A fantastic piece. You know, where was I 20 years ago? 
Well, 20 years ago, I would have been 12. Getting out of, actually getting, kind of getting out of watching Power Rangers, but still loving the franchise. So let's go ahead and transform this guy into the Predator Lord, shall we? You guys to understand how beautiful this is. Now the Predator. Now this guy actually had two transformations because he was also the main one of the bat. Let me go ahead and zoom this up a little bit. Up, 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 up. Hey guys, how's it going? This guy actually has two different transformations. Put his crescent moon. So he has org mode when he was well, they were under an evil spell. Let's to transform the main weapon. <laughs> Oopsie. Definitely the old mode is the gator head usually sticked up in the series, but they can never do that correctly. That's a stay down, but the horn sticks up. Then you take the horn down, and you lift up. You still. You lift up his head, and you have his what? Is good mode. Since we're talking about the Predator itself, let's bring out his, his the Ranger that uses him. Honestly, not nah, bad. Let's go ahead and bring in something modern. Let's go ahead and bring in the champion champion T Rex Lord. Something a little modern. Honestly, all around size comparison, he looks beautiful. But, I gotta say, by opening this guy up, and being able to actually hold him in my hands, this is just a beautiful piece, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm geeking out, and I'm enjoying the fact. Enjoying the fact that I'm actually holding some this, this guy in my hands. Because this is a beautiful piece. And a beautiful bit of Ranger history. Clip inside and let some hold it. But honestly. Can you actually play with this guy and mess with him? This is a beautiful piece, guys. And honestly, this is a way this is a great way to start off the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers. Opening up 20 year old toys that have never been opened before. Again, special thanks to Insomniac for sending these down my way. And this has been the Masked Ninja signing off. Until next time, guys. Peace.